Hello everyone, welcome back to the Carnage Report. Um, this will be my second CD acquisition video. Um, it's been quite some time since I did the first one, but uh, over the weekend I went to the flea market and uh, picked up 10 CDs, so I figured I would share. So uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, I'll show you what I've got and uh, kind of talk a little bit about what I know about them. And uh, we'll just start off with a really good one. Um, I found a copy of Alice in Chains' Jar of Flies, which actually has some of my favorite Alice in Chains songs on it. Uh, Rotten Apple is definitely a favorite of mine, but uh, you had the big hits, uh, No Excuses, and I Stay Away. Whale and Wasp is also really good, and uh, Nutshell is also very good. Um, but yeah, I was surprised to find this. Most of the CDs I picked up were like two bucks, so really good bargain. And uh, all of them are in really good condition, so very happy with that. This is an album I've actually never heard, but I was curious about it. Um, Corrosion of Conformity's Blind. Um, this is the album that comes before their uh, popular album from 1994, Deliverance. That one had uh, Albatross and uh, Clean My Wounds on it, which are like those two songs I love, but that whole album's really good. And um, But I was curious as to what this would sound like. Um, I haven't listened to it yet, but I do plan to. Uh, this uh, video will also showcase some of my weirder taste, which uh, may or may not get people's approval. Don't care. Um, Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish, and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. Once I don't have a glare, there we go. Um, I actually have this already, but I didn't have like the version I had. I don't remember how it happened, but I didn't have any of the uh, like the inserts. So I was like, so I saw this for two bucks, and I said, ah, screw it. It's in better condition than the one I currently have, and um, it has all the inserts. So, um, because I like looking at the artwork. But yeah, uh, this is actually my favorite Limp Bizkit CD, which uh, gets some groaning from a lot of people. Everybody's like, why don't you just like $3 Bill Y'all and Significant Other? I love Significant Other. $3 Bill Y'all's okay. I don't really like the roughness of it. Um, but, uh, but yeah. This album is my favorite Limp Bizkit album, because it's fucking ridiculous. Um, this might become glary, because the, uh, the CD case is a little scuffed, but uh, The Curse from Atreyu. It's the one with bleeding mascara and right side of the bed on it. Um, I really like this album, and it was... Um, Years and years ago, around the time when this album first came out, um, this was an album that was actually shown to me by my younger brother. Uh, I didn't know who the fuck Atreyu was. But, um, but yeah, um, it's an album that took me a little while, but it did grow on me, because uh, it took me a little while to get into anything even remotely resembling metalcore. But um, I really like it now. And um, I really liked their uh, the poppy direction they took on their last couple of albums. Um, I didn't like uh, the one with X's and O's on it, although I love that song. But, uh, like, uh, pfft, Lead Sails and a Paper Anchor and uh, Congregation of the Damned, those two albums were awesome. But, uh, didn't see those, but I really liked The Curse, so I was happy getting that. Um, <laughs> this. <laughs> Look at me, big masculine man. Creed, Human Clay. I like this album. Um, I like it less than My Own Prison and less than Weathered. But I like this album. Um, actually, you know what? It's probably a toss-up with Weathered. Uh, like, I will never, if unless I'm forced to, listen to With Arms Wide Open again. I don't need to hear Higher again. And I can go without hearing What If again. Um, but uh, the majority of the rest of this album, I like quite a bit. Um, Creed's not that bad despite the fact that Scott Stapp is probably a douchebag, and um, I think he's homeless now. So, uh, the first Good Charlotte album, and my least favorite of the first four Good Charlotte albums. Um, but it has enough stuff on it that I like it, and um, it's two bucks. Um, Festival songs on here, Little Things is on here, and um, I love both those songs. Uh, there's a few more that I really like, and um, but it also has... Uh, Motivation Proclamation, which I never liked that single. But, um, but yeah, no, after this, Good Charlotte got really good. And uh, their next, despite being kind of wimpy pop punk, uh, Young and the Hopeless, uh, Chron especially Chronicles of Life and Death, which is really good, and uh, the synth pop one, uh, Good Morning Revival. Um, 
those albums are all really good and things I really like listening to when I'm in a pop punk mood. Speaking of pop punk and being mislabeled punk, Avril Lavigne, let go. Um, I actually quite liked Avril Lavigne for a while. Um, the first two albums are really good, and then the third album had that girlfriend song, and then it was downhill from there. And then she married Chad Kroger. But, um, but yeah, I really liked the first album. Uh, I never need to hear Complicated again. I don't like that song. But uh, the other four, well, I'm with you is okay, but I liked Skater Boy and I liked um, Losing Grip as far as singles go. But, like, it had Unwanted, which I loved. Um, there was other songs on here. Mobile's pretty good. Um, anything But Ordinary and Things I'll Never Say. I like those songs. Um, the only one, there's only one, uh, I don't remember which song it is. Uh, I think it's My World, but um, I think it's the one where she attempts to rap a little bit or at least use rap stylings in her verses. It's really bad, <laughs> but but no, two bucks. I'm cool with that album. Uh, let's see. Uh, Corn, take a look in the mirror. Super overrated band. Um, very influential though. I can't deny that. Um, I like Corn here and then, here and again. Uh, this was for a long time my the last what I consider to be the last Corn album that was actually good. Um, until I actually spent some time with um, Untitled, and I really liked that album. But the other stuff, like See You on the Other Side, and uh, the one after Untitled, is it Remember Who You Are? Corn 3 or whatever? Then there was the Dubstep album, and then there was that uh, last album that I am don't remember the name of. Um, fuck. I don't remember. But Unimportant, it wasn't very good. But yeah, uh, especially the Corn 3, Remember Who You Are, that album's fucking awful. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, I did like this album. Um, there's some super, well, there's always cheesy things on Corn albums. But uh, there was some, there's some songs that I really don't like. Um, the one with Nas I don't like. Y'all want a single? It's stupid. Um, and then they turned it into a single. How rebellious of you. Um, but Did My Time, Counting On Me. Even the super cheesy right now with the shut up, shut up, I'm going to fuck you up part. Um, Break Some Off is good. And uh, let's see, Everything I've Known. And I believe this version actually has the... It does. It has their live cover of One from Metallica that they did at that um, MTV icon thing. Um, so that's good. Uh, this is an album I do not am not familiar with. But I saw it... And the thing is, I'm not super crazy about this band. Um, I know I haven't gone into much metal discussion on the videos I've done, but that's because most of the things I can find at flea markets or the Salvation Army or super cheap uh, UCD shops aren't super metal. Um, like, I love metal. All the different forms. But uh, Enslaved was a band that... I know very little about, and I used to get them confused with Unleashed a lot. Unleashed, it turns out, I really like. Enslaved, eh, they're okay. Um, but I found this, which is, what's it, In Times, which is uh, a newer one. It says 2015, but uh, I haven't spent any time with it yet. But um, I'm willing to give it a shot, and it was two bucks, so fuck it. If I don't like it, I'll give it to one of my other metal friends, and I'm sure they'll dig it. Uh, this I was surprised to find because uh, of the place I found it at, which was some weird old guy's uh, flea market stand. And um, he he actually had the Atreyu CD too, but he had um, Skid Row's first album. At least, yeah, this is their first album, a self-titled one. But it's the one with 18 in Life and the one with Youth Gone Wild. And uh, there was another song in here that I was... Sweet Little Sister. And um, I really like this album. I don't like it as much as um, Slaves to the Grind. Slaves to the Grind is my favorite uh, Skid Row album, and especially the title track, which is fucking awesome. I wish all Skid Row stuff sounded like that. But uh, but yeah, that's all I picked up. Um, so just I'm gonna I'll add that to my gigantic collection list that uh, you can find in the description below, and um, hopefully the next video will be uh, sooner rather than later. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.